Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, this is Making Happen with Mary and I am Mary. Today's video, you guys have been waiting to sit down and do this because I've been racking my brain trying to really remember this scent from back in the day because Bath and Body Works just brought her back and it was bourbon, strawberry, and vanilla. Yep, she's part of that new beveled luxuries. I mean, like, they're the same bottle, yo. They're the same bottle. And yes, that was, those videos are coming, okay? But they're taking forever to ship it. I know I told you guys my one local store had it. Well, I couldn't get over there that day when they were released because I had stuff to do. What you, what you want from me? What you want from me, man? They're coming. They're coming. Calm down. Slow your roll, sis. Calm down. But today, we got this one. So we're going to talk about this one right now. Scent notes on bourbon, strawberry, and vanilla is bourbon, vanilla, garden, strawberry, apricot, nectar, pink, jasmine, and white oak. I will say, for what I remember of the original one of this years ago, I remember that strawberry note being heavier. Like, it was definitely more predominant. This one, it is nowhere near as heavy as it used to be. What comes through more than anything is that bourbon vanilla, which is that same type of bourbon vanilla that was in that one that they released in the fall, which was literally bourbon vanilla. I don't really get any apricot. I do get a little bit of strawberry, but it, again, it's not as heavy as it used to be. A tiny bit of jasmine, a little bit of oak in the background. I mean, overall, is this a nice scent? Yes. Is it anything I'm going to tell you guys that you need to run out and snag right away? No. Hell no. I mean, it kind of gives perfumey vibes, but the kind of perfume vibes it's giving me is that nothing special perfume. Like, basic perfume and what I did notice about this because y'all have been asking me to do this the longevity on this has been crap and the projection was crap yeah when I have worn this on my skin maybe 40 minutes and the projection was kind of like right here um to me for what they're charging now $18.95 a bottle you better do better than that, Bath and Body Works. You gotta do better than that. You got to. You got to. I mean, if they would have brought her back like what I remember her being, I would have been much more psyched about this scent. But the way it smells to me right now, I just can't with it. This almost smells like something that should have been brought out in the fall. I don't even think I can get down with this in the spring. It would be more of a fall-winter scent. If the strawberry was heavier in here, ma'am. I could have played with her all spring. Yeah, it's just not giving what I needed to give. And I've got, I got to keep it real with y'all. I got to keep it real. But I do want to talk about some comparisons. I did see on TikTok, and y'all, I did see this, being compared to strawberry pound cake. Yes. Uh, this is the OG bottle of strawberry pound cake when she first came out in all of her glory, which I believe that was 2020. It was 2020, and um, this is amazing. It's basically strawberry shortbread, whipped cream, and strawberries. Or I, I think, wait a minute, it's, it's whip, uh, strawberries, whipped cream, and shortbread, or pound cake. Now, this is a lovely strawberry. You get the strawberries, you get the cakiness, you get the marshmallow. This is not this, dear. Don't freaking lie to these people. This is gourmand and decadent. This is not. Not at all. There ain't not a goddamn thing gourmand about this, babe. It ain't. It ain't. Now, I did see a comparison that kind of made me go, hmm. And it was one for Prada Candy Gloss. I think this one was on Instagram. But the scent notes for Prada Candy Gloss are Sour Cherry Cassis peach, rose, orange blossom, vanilla, almond, benzoin, heliotrope, and musk. I love this scent. My daughter, my uh, daughter who's 23, adores this scent. Uh, she tried to, she tried to hijack my bottle of it. I was like, whoa, 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 girl. You best to back up. Girl, you, you got a job. You ain't taking mama's only one of this. 
I love this scent. This is definitely high-end. It gives high-end perfume vibes. I only see the, the comparison in one way. And it's the fact that there's like a, a musky note in product gloss that settles after it settles down. And that same musky note is in here. I mean, I would say they're second cousins. They, there are a little bit of similarities in here. The way they muted the strawberry in here is almost the same way that the sour cherry comes across in product gloss. I will say I do think these would pair beautifully together. So if you have this and you got this, baby, you got a good match. But there's a lot of heliotrope in product gloss, and you don't get that in bourbon, strawberry, and vanilla. No, there's like no floral really in here. I mean, did they say jasmine, but it's so far in the background. It's like, why even mention it, babe? Why even do it? This one, I was a little... They were comparing it to Pink Velvet Cupcake. Yep, Pink Velvet Cupcake. She came out, when did she come out? 2019 was this version. I dill, dill, I do, dill, dill, I do still have the body lotion from then. And the scent notes, this is still when I mean, they had like five or six scent notes, was sparkling red berries, whipped pink marshmallow, and sugar praline. Well, damn, they only gave us three that time. I'm shocked. But you definitely get the praline in Pink Velvet Cupcake. Like, there's definitely a, a sugary sweet note with that whipped marshmallow, the berries, the praline. And it's gorgeous. It, it's not... I really don't understand where some of these people get these comparisons from. It sure as hell is not this. No, I mean, no. No. I mean, the, the berry note is about the same with, like, the level of it. But this is so sweet and gourmand. And, again, there's nothing gourmand about this. No, I mean, I, the only thing I could say that they, these are similar in is the level of the, the berry note in them. Whereas uh, everything else is just not there, babe. It's not there. Quit lying to these folks. Yeah, in my search of my massive collection, I could not find, really, not one that really smelled, like, even comparable. And in a way, that's good, because I don't think I would keep those in my collection if they were comparable to this, if that says anything. I mean, what did you all think? Did, I mean, are you digging this new one of, of bourbon, strawberry, and vanilla? Because it just ain't slapping the way it used to slap for me. No, it's just not. It, it's it's disappointment is what it is. What did you guys think? Definitely leave me a comment down below and let me know. As always, make sure you're connected with me on Instagram and TikTok. I do a lot of fun stuff over there. Uh, your girl can get a little cokey. And I, they don't censor me as much over there as they will on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, but anyway, you all know the drill. Like comment, subscribe, and ding the bell so you learn every single time your girl uploads. And I will see you in the next one. All right, you guys. Bye-bye.